Hey guys, Zix here. Time for another episode of My Saga Sky Block. As you can see, we have ourselves a contestant for the door game. Just happened to be talking to him in game, and uh, turns out he wants to give a shot at the trike. I explained the rules. He's going to pick one door. One door has a trike. Four doors do not, so low odds. Uh, but he wants to go ahead and give it a try. So I'm going to tell him. Okay, go ahead. Let's see how he does. This is emergency. He changed his name to Emerge, just recently got himself Raptor, so this would be a nice, nice boost. Alright, he's thinking his choice is over. It's definitely not this one. I did anti-x-ray protection, just to be safe. He's taking his time, thinking it over. <laughs> oh, he's close. He's real close. It seems like he keeps going back to that one. <laughs> now he's changing his mind. <laughs> like, on camera. No, he says he's, he's not sure. And of course, my dog's barking. And unfortunately, no, sorry. <laughs> it's behind door number two. <laughs> Thank you for playing. <laughs> it was a good try. He, he, he got really close. <laughs> Maybe if nobody wins it after a couple goes, I'll let you try again. All right. <laughs> That's not what this episode is about, uh, but he was on and I thought I would be opportunistic. So I'm going to pause and then I'll finish the episode later. I'll be back. And we're back. That was fun. <laughs> Glad someone finally had got to participate. But now that we're here and we're back, I have something to talk about. I have come to a decision on what I'm going to do to replace uh, Mind Saga Skyblock. And I think you're going to like what I've come up with. Because the unanimous decision, the unanimous, unanimous request, was for me to continue doing Mind Saga Skyblock as much as I can. Uh, it's also by far the most popular series on my channel, uh, despite a few new ones coming out that I really like um, enjoying playing a lot. But I will continue to do so. Excuse me. <coughs> Set a sub. Burping up a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna continue um, with Mind Saga Skyblock. I've come to the decision that um, that's what you guys want so that's what I'm going to do just be aware um, that I can't have a great content filled episode every single time some episodes are going to be better than others some episodes are going to be me flying around talking like you can see <laughs> simply because I'm gonna run out of things to do uh, I've already pretty much exhausted most of the stuff like I have this um, that I'm going to <coughs> keep doing and put people in on. Uh, I have this still, um, which the next episode is going to be me finishing this, at least the race part of it. Uh, again, I'm not going to show the maze because I want that to be left to the imagination, but I'm going to finish the rest on camera. That's probably going to be the next episode. And then after that, um, it's either going to be recording the race or building something else. Uh, since it seems like uh, I don't think I'm going to have anybody uh, any contestants tried to build something in here. Um, that's okay. Uh, it was a long shot. I thought maybe I, maybe I could get some help because I'm running out of ideas. <laughs> nah, I'll figure it out. I, I can fill all this in. I wasn't intending to keep this here for very long. Like I said, I wanted to put a nightclub here in this box. Um, but now that I have this and it hasn't been done yet, I'm going to keep it up. Maybe that'll be the last build that I do. Uh, before uh, before the series is over. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, but, yeah. So, um, channel update. 
like I said, I'm going to continue doing Daily Mind Saga Skyblock. Hooray! Yay! Uh, I'm still going to do um, my other series. Um, I have an FTB series going on that focuses on the B side. Um, I have I just released a new series where I'm building on a solo world. Um, I uh, also play on Creepers Lab, uh, the, a different SMP server. Um, it's vanilla. Um, that's going to be more of a grindy, talky server. Less, less content, more what's going on with me and my life and all that kind of stuff. Uh, same with Zix builds. That's going to be a lot of the, the conversations I have in there. Uh, whoa! What's going on with that? Uh, and then I'm going to... Pretty soon I'm going to do a uh, Sky Factory series as well. Um, all of those other series, right now I have them set to every other day, except for Creeper's Lab. Um, that's not going to stay the case forever. They're not going... I'm going to miss some time here and there. Um, but my primary focus will remain on Mind Saga Skyblock. Um, un until it's not feasible to do so. Um, also, I want to help you guys when it comes to getting started on the reset. <coughs> Jeez, my throat. So I'm going to be, as time passes, giving you little tips and tricks on how the big boys do it. Um, what we do to get a good head start. So we have, I think, about a month and two weeks left of the round. What that means is... Um, you still have a lot of time before you need to really think about next round. <laughs> That's what that means. However, when there's about three weeks left, um, and I'll tell you when, I'll tell you when you need to prepare. Uh, unless they change what they've been doing, like I said in the last video, they reset every three every three months. Um, that's been very, very consistent, but hey, you never know, that could change. Um, you want to not use any of your drop party keys for the last three weeks. Now if you have three alts, you probably only need a week to build up. But if you don't have three alts, and I'm assuming most of my viewers do not have three alts, do not use any drop party keys or any basic keys for the last three weeks of the round. And I know that might be tricky. It might be difficult for you to do. But here's why. You want to get a treasure kit. The keys do not carry over to the next round, but the treasure kits do, and they, they it's not from the first time you open them either, it's from the first time uh, you get them, which I don't think I, oh, I do have one. Oh, nice. Hmm. Shows how much I pay attention. Um, <clears throat> sorry guys, nothing in there. So save them, and then on the very last day before the reset, and you'll have an official date from Mind Saga, use all your keys, every single one of them, um, and you should you should get it, you should get a um, treasure kit. Now, if you do not spend a lot of time on the server while you're on, and you um, like, let's say you only get like three to four keys per day because you can't play very much, then you might want to start saving up now. Uh, you might want to stop using them now, and I know that's probably asking a lot, but um, any, pretty much any keys you get now are not going to help you for next round. And I'm just talking about getting set up for next round. If that's not important to you, then ignore what I'm saying. Uh, but I always have people ask, how do you guys get so rich so fast? Well, that's one of the reasons why. You need a T3 hopper on day one. Um, you're not going to get a T3 hopper on day one if you don't have a treasure kit. Let's just unless you pay for them. Uh, you could always spend five dollars and get some, get a T3 hopper, but well, not a lot of people want to do that either. So that's my advice to you: get yourself a treasure kit on the last day of the round, and that way you get ten advanced keys to start the next round. That that's going to get you a you're gonna you're gonna get a you're going to get a T3 out of 10 advanced keys. If you don't, you're just very unlucky. Even if you get a T2, that's that's something. Um, because then you just got to fight a couple bosses to get a void. Um, 
but you're, you're better off with a T3. Uh, so uh, more tips will be coming as we get closer. Um, in the meantime, how many basic keys do I have? 40, 34? Holy cow. Yeah, let's do a parkour. I can't believe I have so many keys. Also, they're doing this thing. You see two buckets in my inventory. Uh, they're doing this thing where you... Um, this is trick-or-treat. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool, but... Ah, the prizes just kind of stink. And um, the odds are pretty low to you even get anything. Um, but it's a it's a cool it's a cool idea. It's it's unique. This is the toughest jump right here. You hit the roof of the of the pink wall. Oh, I touched the wall and stopped running. <laughs> and now I'm not running. Wow. One more try, and then we'll try to these, we'll try these buckets out. I was AFKing earlier and I had seven. And so I used all seven at once. I just didn't even think. I should have saved them. Uh, but I used all seven at once. And you get like a goodie bag if you succeed. Oh my gosh. That was pathetic. Anyway, when you get these buckets, you go to spawn. As you can see, there's a lot of people here. Do I have a pumpkin face? No. Why do all these people have pumpkin faces? Who cares? All right. No treat. No treat. And someone threw a iron golem at me that I don't want. So there you go. So, good news, guys. We're going to keep doing these daily. Um, but probably not every single day forever. I mean, I'm going to miss a day eventually. Uh, but so far, I've, I've uploaded at 9 a.m. EST every single day for, what, 30 to almost a month straight. Uh, and you guys have supported me from the get-go, and you guys have been fantastic, and I have to, um, you know, I have to acknowledge that. So, yeah, we're going to keep it going. So, I appreciate you guys very much. Thanks for watching, and as always, take it easy.